Welcome to the Endgame Finance. Today, guys, we're talking about Rivian. We're talking about if Rivian has the potential to be a trillion plus dollar stock in the future. Now, let's look at this article. It's actually uh, sort of informative if this is all possible. We see here, will Rivian Auto be a trillion dollar stock by 2030? In this article, Rivian management believes the company can produce a million vehicles by year 2030. That's not that far off, guys. It's less than a decade. It's about seven years away from now. And that would represent an eight-year compound annual growth rate of 59%. At the same time, Rivian revenues would increase from $1.8 billion last year to nearly $75 billion in 2030. That is explosive growth. That's the growth we witnessed with Tesla. They pulled it off. Now, if, if Rivian will be able to follow suit, we'll see. However, if Rivian trades 14 times sales by then, it would top a $1 trillion market cap and deliver nearly 70 bagger return for current investors. So Rivian market cap right now is around $14 billion. If they were actually to 100X, they would put them in $1.4 trillion. Now, this is completely plausible, and we're not saying this is a 100% guarantee. However, Rivian does have the potential to 100x if they actually deliver, if they execute, if their vehicles are well received. You know, that would be very similar to what happened to Tesla, which surpassed the 1 trillion mark in October of 2021. On that day, Tesla was valued 12 times the sales it was expected to generate in 2022. Market cap has dropped since then. That's mostly because... Uh, Elon Musk's stock sale, his somewhat polarizing behavior following the acquisition of Twitter. Not to mention, he sold all those shares to fund Twitter. And it was a lot. He sold a huge percentage. And uh, people were really concerned if he's going to keep on selling. If he's not going to keep on selling, very recently he said he regretted selling so many shares because he was not just sure how much Twitter acquisition would cost him. However, Tesla seems undervalued by these standards. That's why I recently purchased over $11,000 worth of stock options. Those options are getting pretty close to 100% return in less than a month. Tesla revenues currently are $86 billion. That's trailing 12 months. By the end of this year, they will easily be around $100 billion. If we use a 12 or even 14 uh, times sales multiplier that puts them around uh, 1.4 trillion dollars or even more if uh, if they if they regain that really high multiple valuations they would they have historically held so Tesla guys is very undervalued by these numbers Tesla was really undervalued 160 that's why I jumped on the ship that's why I bought all the stock options that's why I added some more shares Nvidia as well has reached a 1 trillion dollar mark however they're only valued at 26 they only have 26 billion dollars in revenues trailing 12 months. So net income is around $5 billion. That's significantly less than Tesla. Tesla is doing nearly four times these numbers, three to four times. So if we look at uh, Rivian, Tesla, Nvidia, we see this tech sector, especially for these new technologies, they, they demand a higher premium, higher valuations. And it's very plausible that by these metrics, Rivian will be trading around 10 to 12 times sales. And Rivian produced a million vehicles per year. Rivian Illinois plant currently has an annual production of 150,000 vehicles. They plan to up this capacity to 200,000 vehicles. Once their Georgia plant is online in 2023-2024, this, this will boost their annual production line to over 600,000 vehicles. However, I still do believe in uh, between 2024 and 2030, Rivian will most likely open a European manufacturing plant. I don't see him going to an expensive country like Germany, which Tesla did. I see him mostly staying in uh, uh, probably Bulgaria or Romania or even Serbia. Uh, one of these countries that has a very good production rate of automobiles and very cheap labor with absolutely no unions. So they can push out more vehicles, higher capacity, higher margins. I believe Fiat Chrysler or Stellantis, as they're called right now, are producing a tremendous amount of vehicles in Serbia very cheaply. They're about to start producing their electric vehicles in Serbia as well. So Rubin will most likely follow suit and build out one of their factories in Europe. And this, this factory will push up their capacity to over a million vehicles per year. Look at this article. It says Rivian stock. Rivian is like Google and Toyota had a baby. And this is excellent news for investors. So Rivian is really big on vertical integration. They're following Tesla footsteps. 
They own or participate in every single part of their value chain. They basically have significant vertical integration with uh, development and manufacturing expertise across the range of products for Rivian. So they make their own uh, automobiles, batteries, battery systems, their own electric motors. They're designing their own microchips. They're writing their own software. They're building out their charging network. So this is adding tremendous value to this company. This company is like Google software and Toyota hardware just combined and created a one amazing company. So this will be a huge advantage to, for Rivian going forward, especially as they mass produce more and more vehicles. They will use expertise to bump up their revenues, their margins. They will use it to push out new products, new services. Consumers and investors alike have become interested in Rivian as a result of their innovation. Poised to make significant impact on both urban and adventure driven markets as a result of the combination of streamlined designs, off-road capabilities, and just impressive battery range. Rivian has really uh, just broken the barrier of the, of the electric vehicle revolution. They produce something so innovative, so exciting, so uh, perfectly designed with uh, perfectly written software and hardware that's constantly improving and evolving that basically they have a huge demand for this vehicle. Now they had to stop publishing reservation numbers because people just saw how much of a backlog they had, how many people have ordered this vehicle. It was a detriment to people placing orders. So if you think you're gonna have to wait two, three years for your car, you're most likely not gonna place an order or you might place an order and then sometime in the, sometime while you wait, something else pops up and you make a purchase. So Rivian had such a huge demand, they had to stop publishing their backlogs. Another aspect that will propel Rivian forward that will push them to that one million one trillion dollar plus market cap is they are on the forefront of transitioning towards electric revolution towards clean burning fuels and they're supported heavily by government subsidies just like tesla has been and still is so rivian will most likely get around 80 percent discount of building out their charging network uh, their delivery vans which will just complement their entire business I believe will have an additional subsidy of up to 30% off if they're being purchased under the Inflation Reduction Act. This is huge money saver. So you can see everybody wanting these electric delivery vehicles. Now, Amazon has an exclusive deal with them to 2026. I believe they tried to renegotiate with Amazon. However, Amazon demands that all their trucks be delivered because this is a huge cost saver for every single company. There's no oil maintenance. There's, uh, there's no engine checkups. It's basically, uh, it's, it's a self-maintaining vehicle that saves, that will save Amazon, that will save FedEx, UPS, USPS, billions of dollars on maintenance and fuel. And they will be able to purchase these trucks at a significant discount. So Rivian has a really a lot going on for them. And we can easily see if their revenues, if they actually continue to execute like they have been, if they increase their production, if they do reach $75 billion of revenue by 2030, this will be a trillion plus dollar stock and this stock can potentially 100X from here on. So that's it guys, if you have any thoughts or opinions or any controversial comments or any comments about the controversial statements I made, please let me know below. As always guys, please like, subscribe and share and have a great day.